Hi everyone, my name is Phoebe. Hey, it's Harmony Jane. Hi everyone, I'm Julia. Hey guys, it's JP. Hey, it's Shane here. We are part of the team. Musicians Against Climate Modulation for the Australian Youth Climate Coalitions for the Love of the Roof Challenge. This year, I've decided to give up colour. Coffee, avocado and chocolate. Meat, seafood and dairy. I used to just punt. Fast food. Also, be a good millennial and give up avocados. I'm currently on day five at the moment. It's day six. It's day seven. We're currently halfway through our For the Love of the Reef challenge and it's been a bit difficult. Please explain further past harmony. I thought things would be very difficult being out, you know, trying to get food because I'm giving up meats, seafood and dairy, but pancake parlor has come through. With the goods, y'all. Hell yeah. So Phoebe, how are you going looking like a bleached reef and going avocado-less for two weeks? The biggest struggle I faced was today um, when I started eating my wrap which I ordered for breakfast and it had avocado in it. I was quite shocked, uh, I didn't actually see it on the menu and then I thought to myself, well I'm just going to have to donate to myself so I feel less guilty. I usually have avocado on toast for breakfast every day so making the switch is kind of hard. I've had to be a little bit creative. I've never eaten wheat bix so much in my life. Um, coconut yogurt, which my parents bought, is expensive stuff. Um, how can you even afford a house with coconut yogurt? And actually dim sims as well, vegan dim sims, so it's been fun. It's been fine, but Avo, I miss you. So Jaden, how are those puns going? I've chosen an, unorth an unorthodox th thing to really give up, and that is my usage, my usage of puns. For those who know me, like <laughs> for doing this challenge, like I made a make a pun pretty much every sentence, and the less harm I can do to anybody, the better. But in legitimate seriousness, like um, why I've chosen to do this challenge is because the Great Barrier Reef is just really, really important to me. I come from Cairns, and even though I haven't really gone there that often, like I've got a bit of a close connection with the reef itself, like just in. You know, it's home. I think the most difficult food I've given up is coffee. Probably because I have it almost every day and now I'm just trying to figure out how to wake up naturally in the morning without coffee. So I've kind of been a zombie for the past few days. Also avocado and chocolate have been pretty difficult as well. I just never realised how many foods have avocado and chocolate in them like nachos or sushi or cake. But it's been pretty sweet though. I'm enjoying it. Let's see how JP's doing. At first, it, it, um, it was really hard because I'm moving house at the moment and, you know, I just was just slack to cook and stuff like that. But, like, you know, I've committed and my body and my environment is thanking me for it because it is something that I'm very passionate about. Climate change is inevitable. We get that. But not at the pace it's at now with the help of the combustion of fossil fuels and deforestation. It's frightening to know that our beautiful planet is subjected to mass destruction by humanity. And it's up to, well all of us to help reduce the contribution and keep it that way. Um, this campaign means so much to me because I care so deeply about the environment and the Great Barrier Reef and you know and it's in our hands so donating to the AYCC campaign you know just means that we're one step closer to a better reef so make sure you go and donate.